By converting plain text into word art, you can make your slides more visually appealing. In this lesson, you'll create, format, and resize word art. We want to add this word art text object on slide 8 of our presentation. Word art is a set of decorative text styles or text effects that you can apply to any text object. You can apply a word art text style to an existing text object, but we'll create a new one. Let's get started. In step one, I'll click the slide eight thumbnail, then I'll go up and click the insert tab. And over here in the text group, I'll click the word art button. This gallery shows 20 different word art text styles. And in step two, I'll click gradient fill orange, accent one, reflection. This text object appears on the slide with the word art style we just selected. And the drawing tools format tab appears on the ribbon. In step three, I'll click the edge of the object and then I'll drag it to this blank area. In step four, I'll go up to the Word Art Styles group and I'll click the More button. I'll point to some of the styles in this gallery to preview them. And then I'll click this style in the third row. And the new Word Art style is applied to the sample text. In step five, I'll drag to select the text in the object. And on the mini toolbar, I'll click the Decrease Font Size button twice so that 44 appears in the font size text box. Next, I'll type Best Value. I'll press Enter. And I'll type Of the Summer. Now in step six, I'll go back up to the Word Art Styles group and I'll click the Text Effects button. There are many different effects here, including shadows, reflections, glows, bevels, and 3D rotations. I'll point to Transform, and in the Warp section, I'll click Inflate. Then I'll click a blank area, and this effect has been applied. We want to review our presentation, so in step seven, I'll go down to the status bar, and I'll click the Reading View button. Then I'll click the Next button until we reach slide 13. Now I'll click the Menu button and I'll click End Show. In step eight, I'll click the Slide Sorter button and to get an overview of the entire presentation, I'll click the Zoom Out icon until we can see all 13 slides. In step nine, I'll click the Normal button. Then I'll click the Insert tab. And in the text group, I'll click Header and Footer. In this dialog box, I'll click the Date and Time checkbox. And here at the bottom, I'll click the Footer checkbox. I'll click in the text box, and this is where you'd type your name. I'll click Apply to All, and the footer text appears on the slides. Finally, I'll save the presentation, and I'll exit PowerPoint. To try these steps yourself, and for some helpful tips, and to learn about saving a presentation as a video, Turn to page PowerPoint 64 in your book.